Here's a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is turn it on, press and hold that power, keep on holding till it boots up. Once it boots up, you should be at a welcome screen here. From here, you wanna go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with English, and I'm gonna click on start. For your review, now you must select this one and this one in order to proceed, okay? So you can look at the details in all of these, but for me, I'm gonna agree to all of them. It's fine with me. Let me click down here, agree to all. And then for myself, I will tap on agree. Easy setup with another device. So if you have another uh, device, another uh, Android phone or an iPhone or a tablet or an iPad, you can go ahead and set up easier that way. If you did that, you would have to bring the phone or tablet closer and click either Galaxy or Android device or iPhone or iPad, okay? But for myself, this is a clean, fresh install. So I'm gonna do my setup manually. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect to this Wi-Fi. You can always skip it and go back later if you're not on a Wi-Fi, but I'm on a Wi-Fi here and I wanna get that update. So let me go ahead and just do that now. There's my Wi-Fi. Let me input my Wi-Fi password now. After you put in the password, you wanna tap on connect. It says connect it right there. Preparing for a mobile connection. Okay, and now once you're here, connect to a mobile network. Now from here, you can transfer SIM from another device, you can scan QR code, you can search for mobile plans, or you can set up later in settings. For myself, I'm gonna go ahead and set up later after I'm done with the settings, and then I, I have a physical SIM card I can just pop in there. Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more with a different device, okay? So if you have a different device, you can simply just tap on next here, and then you can use a Android device, an iPhone, or an iPad, okay? But for myself, like I said, I want a fresh, clean install, so I'm gonna click on the back button here. Oops, right there. Let me go back. I think I went back too far. Let me tap on set up later in settings again here. Okay, so we're back here, copy apps and data. So like I said, I want a fresh, clean install, so for myself, I'm just gonna click on don't copy. Your Google sign in, you can go ahead and sign into your Google account, which is basically your Gmail, or you can create an account, or you can go ahead and skip it. I'm gonna skip mine and do mine later because I don't remember my password. So I'm gonna do it skip, and I'll do it after I'm done with the uh, with this setup here. Google services, now these are all optional, okay? Use location, allow scanning, use send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? But for myself, I'm fine having all of these toggled on. Ooh, let me toggle all these on and I'm gonna tap on accept down here. Protect your phone, basically a password. You can do face recognition, a face ID, fingerprints, pin, password, or pattern. You can do multiple of these as well, okay? So for this video, I'm just gonna do one and then later on, tomorrow or something, I'll probably do my face recognition and fingerprints as well, but I'm gonna make this easy here. I'm just gonna do a pin for now, so at least I have some kind of password. And the pin requires a six digit here, so let me put in a six digit password. Once you put that in, you want to tap on continue. And I'm going to use anyway. And then I have to reconfirm one more time. Okay. And then I'm going to click on okay. And we're at Samsung account. So you can sign into your Samsung account, email, phone number. You can sign in with the QR code. Or you can not set this up if you don't want to, or you can set this up later. For myself, I'm going to set this up later. So I'm going to just tap down here for myself. Forgot password or don't have an account. I'm going to tap right there and then I'm just going to, for myself I'm just going to put set up later in settings and why do you need a Samsung account go ahead and read all through that most of you guys are going to want it so then again you can sign in or you can do that later or create account for myself like I said I'll skip and I'll just do that part later Samsung service legal information. Now, the only one that's mandatory is the first one, the terms and conditions, okay? Once you do that, you can go ahead and continue, okay? What you wanna do is probably read through all the details here. You can select all the optional, but for myself, my preference, what I'm gonna do is I wanna definitely take this one off, get news and special offers I don't care about, and down here, I'll go ahead and take that off as well, and I'm fine with these two on here, and I will tap on agree. Samsung services, go ahead and read through these and just find whichever one you wanna keep. I'm fine with all three of these here and I will tap on agree. 
Choose your display mode. Do you want light or dark? Most of you guys are going to go with dark. Same here. I like dark better. I'm going to tap on next. Taking care of your phone. You can go ahead and read through all this and then tap on next. You're all set up. Let me tap on finish right there. And voila. I'm all set up here. Now the next video I'm going to do is how to insert the physical SIM card. The link will be below. Anyway, we're all set up.